This is BC8 to BC14, a continuation from my other video. BC8 is just a way of mounting a rod on a plate uh, using a bush wheel, so the rod's not free to turn. Uh, you need some washers underneath the bush wheel to stop that from going out of shape. So it's just a static mounted rod. BC9 is a uh, an anchoring called anchoring spring on a rod, and that's typically using used in cranes for uh, winding uh, cord around the rod. BC10 is a crane brake. Uh, there's a bolt just there. Um, and there's a long bolt on the bush wheel and it hits the bolt. What's not said is that um, this rod really needs to be sprung towards the static bolt or else it will just it will just come off the bolt and start spinning. Um, so there needs to be some sort of a spring. BC11 is a jib arrangement. Um, this strip is lock nutted and on this side the bolt head and the nut lock it. It does say use a, a 111C bolt for this but it, it's too short, you need a, a longer, longer bolt than that. BC12 is uh, two angle brackets to uh, form a U shape. But, um, normally you'd use a, a double angle bracket for that, but anyway that's BC12. BC13 is another way of mounting a shaft using a reversed angle bracket, um, so very similar to one of the earlier BCs, but um, there's a reversed angle bracket to uh, form one, uh, a bearing for the shaft. And finally, uh, BC14 is a crank mechanism, like so, and that uses an angle bracket and then a bolt which goes straight into the uh, boss of the pulley. I found that quite fiddly to uh, put together uh, because you've got to get the bolt partly into the boss and once you've done that then you've got to tighten the two nuts either side of the, uh, of the uh, angle bracket.